Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. You can probably see in the title already what this video is all about. And honestly, I kind of had like a hard time filming this because I already filmed it during a coffee talk video and while I was sipping my coffee and talking about confidence, I just realized that this topic needs so much more attention than just a coffee talk video. I really feel that a lot of us uh, battle with our self-esteem, confidence, um, self-image and for some reason we are all scared to share our truth with others. So I decided to start making a video series about confidence instead of just one coffee talk video. So everyone is different and everyone of course has their own personal struggles but I do feel we might have something in common and that is basically that we want to feel confident, we want to feel loved and we want to feel accepted by others and that's why I asked a couple of my friends who are in the music industry or fashion and actually a couple of strangers on the street to come on my channel and to talk about confidence. And you know what it is, like, I'm not confident either all the time, even though it might look like that on, on screen. And I always had a struggle with my English. I, if I do public speaking or even when I upload a video, do I say things right or do I misspell things? And I think this is something really from my past because I used to grow up in Zimbabwe. And uh, English was my first language and Dutch actually second so when we moved to Holland I had a very English accent and my parents were trying to keep up with my English and I refused to speak any English because I didn't want to be different I wanted to speak Dutch I wanted to be the same as the other kids and I really blocked this out of my system and I think that's where I um, yeah kind of step away from English and now I'm just like oh I shouldn't have done that but this is still something what I'm struggling with in my everyday life and you know being a model um, I'm constantly on set and you get constantly judged by other people about the way how you look the way you interact the way you move and sometimes if you don't get any feedback or well I start to doubt myself and you know, I'm like, wait, I need some confidence or where's my confidence at? So if you would ask me what confidence really means, I feel that is feeling good in your own skin and being happy with yourself because that is something that really shows to the world and that shows to others. If you feel good and if you are happy and if you accept yourself like the way you really are, your authentic you, that's when the confidence shows. So I wanted to give you guys a little sneak preview of what my friends think about confidence. For me personally, it's been a, it's been something I've been searching for my whole life, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, confidence, I guess, comes in many forms. You have confidence in who you actually are as a person, which is the inside, and then you have the the outside, which is like the thing you get judged on first. Is something I have had to like learn to build throughout my career more and more um, because just growing up in this industry you have to learn to know who you are and I think that's the most important thing to me confidence is about being authentic and I think if you're authentic to yourself then it just comes across as confidence like going back to when I was playing football for example like the Dutch uh, soccer um, I was quite insecure sometimes and now with like modeling you also get like opinions but for me like confidence comes from not listening to all those criticisms that are coming your way just you know be yourself and don't listen to it like it's you are who you are and you're good enough I think that's where, where confidence yeah that's the most important now getting older it just means quiet and peace I notice even now, sometimes when I'm scrolling through Instagram, there's certain profiles of certain girls who just don't make me feel really good about myself. And it's not something that they can actually help because they're lovely and beautiful. It's all within my head. So I think when you kind of avoid all the negative energy or things that make you feel negative about yourself or about your environment, yeah, just try to literally not look at it and just see what it does. If Even as an exercise, maybe once a day, try to avoid something that makes you feel shitty 
Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that eventually that's gonna build up the confidence. I feel everyone is unique and everyone has their own strengths and things you can actually improve on. And I really feel that it is important to not call that a weakness because having insecurities or being vulnerable, that is not a weakness. It takes so much bravery to actually be able to share your truth with other people and you know to really tell your story and if you're stuck with something to share that with someone else even though you're like ashamed of it or even if you think that is something bad about a year ago i would have never expected that i would share things about my relationship or about my struggles or the place where i live and yeah i really wanted to thank you guys for for that I feel this video comes at a great time because I want to explore what exactly makes us confident and how can we get more confidence. And honestly guys, please leave a comment down below what confidence really means to you. I feel if we all share our story and if we all share our insecurities, we can help each other and we can stay together, we can spread positivity and we can spread love and feel this helps all of us so leave me a comment down below and if you're excited for this new video series then give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video